Hey friends, welcome back. This is Harish. Today we are going to learn a few trick shots which can be used in your game and can shock your opponent. So before we get into this, before we start this video, make sure you have subscribed to this channel. Otherwise, you may never get the important stuff. So we'll do it right now and we will get started. So first trick shot is the most common one used in badminton especially in doubles. I have shown a series of trick shots in the last videos. So if you haven't watched it yet, do watch it after this video. Now let's get into this trick shot first. Second trick shot is the turnaround shot. We have seen this trick shot used by one of the top badminton singles player, Victor Axelsen, in his matches. Some of you might even seen him practice for this trick shot. So let's see how to do it. Third trick shot of the video is the cross drop, but it is not the usual cross drop we play. It is a cross drop which Li Chong will play. If you follow Li Chong with game carefully, then you will know what shot we are going to play. So let's see how it is done. And the last trick shot of today's video is the cross lift with deception. This trick shot is rarely used by Lindan, but no other badminton player have commonly used this trick shot specifically. So this has to do a lot with your wrist, so be ready to do it. And that's all for today friends. If you had fun while learning all these trick shots, make sure you hit that like button and share this video and use these trick shots while playing with your friends and have fun. If you have something to say to me, I welcome you to the comment box. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you will get instant notification on brand new content. And I will meet you friends in the next video with more information. Until then, this is Harish. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you friends. Have a nice week. Peace. Today I would like to tell you a small incident from a story. There is a boy riding his horse and the path he is going is so foggy and he couldn't see past certain distance. As he goes further and further, he keeps on complaining to the horse 
that the path is so foggy and I can't see the destination. I can't see where we are going. I don't know how to go and all. For that, the horse kept on listening and after a certain point of time, the boy refused to go further because it was too foggy. At this time, the horse asked one question to the boy. Do you see the next step? He replied, yes, I can see the next step. Then the horse said, so take it. You may not see the goal or the destination you want to be, but you can see the first step or the next step you have to take. As the path leads to a place, you can decide whether you want to continue the path or you can change the path. Think about it.